Welcome back to Mitford Pottery. Today's video we are going to attempt to throw uh, some test tiles. And this is a technique where you throw a large like outer ring and then you can cut them into your test tiles. I've seen it, it's something I should do really. But we're going to give it a go and uh, so here we go. Let's see if we can do it. So we'll get down onto the wheel like so so this is 1800 grams of white stoneware clay which is my normal clay I use so it's a monster to throw so what we're aiming to get is sort of a ring about that and a sort of two or three inches high with grooves on it for the glade to run into. So as always we shall start we shall have had a clean up as well so everything's nice and fresh. Leather need a sponge in there and my stick is there. So this will stop on the bat once we're done, let it dry, and then we'll cut it up a bit. So here we go. Center, center the fella first. Oh, switch to this on first would help. There we go. It always helps when you switch the wheel on. Right, here we go. So. Apart from it being a, a big lump of clear, I don't think I've ever attempted to throw one of these before, so We're learning together. So as always we'll get it stuck on the wheel. And then we'll corner it up. Corn it up and we'll center it so we push down at an angle and then it should all go into your hands and don't let the clay dry up. would help if my bats were actually centered properly. When I cut the holes in them they're a little bit off centre, that's the problem. That's okay. So about the right height. So we'll slow it down a bit and we'll break in. Let's make a start and get a bit of water in the top. Now because we make a circle go all the way to the wheel head this time. Now we're going to attempt to stretch this out without knocking it off centre. Oh, 
we're getting there. We're getting there. Just starting to wobble a bit. Slow down. So we'll go to about there. So now what we need to do, I want to lift this up a little bit. Which is quite awkward to do actually. And we're aiming for sort of the same thickness you would throw your normal stuff. Still make it nice. Finish the top off. So it's not particularly flat, but it is test tiles after all. As long as they stand up on their own, that's all we need from them. So what we will do, I'll clean inside here a bit. See what's going on. A sponge. No water out. Like you say, you've got to need enough of a base so they'll actually stand up on their own. any sense. Smell that off of that. Oh we're doing there. It's alright, I'll smooth that out there yet. this out a little bit. That's it. Do I saw what leather again, leather that off. And what we will do, we will make 
bit of surface detail on here so it's got something to run into I'll just put a couple of grooves in So we'll have uh, one on the back as well. Oop. There. last leather and that's us done there we are so on just clean this water off thing for us to do because it's getting left on the bat it'll run a wire under it so we'll get the big wire where's the wire going oh, I shouldn't do that <sighs> right so just an ordinary cut off wire this one because it's Quite large. We don't need it to be moving. Just need to cut it off. Go this way. Up. Keep it tight and push to the wheel head all the way through, like so. And that is it. So. So our test tiles in progress. Uh, update you when it's dry, and we'll cut it off into little segments, and then we'll, we'll label them up, and that's it. So again, thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video.